smoother than that, I'm in good shape. All right, we all know and love it. The moment Kevin found out his home alone after his family leaves him on accident to go on vacation. Movie picked out by our producer, Sylvia, in the booth this morning. Her favorite to watch every holiday season. <laughs> all of us have a favorite movie or a few, and we just have to make time every year, whether it's a tradition or just plain nostalgia. Well, Entertainment Weekly ranked the top Christmas, ranked the Christmas story as it's one of its top five, Wonderful Life, followed by Christmas Story. Number three is Charlie Brown Christmas. Elf is number four. And the 1966 version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas is number five. Again, we should say Entertainment Weekly had this list of the top and most popular yeah. holiday uh, movies. These I are the top five. I can recite lines in just about every one of those movies. The list goes on, of course, and everyone has a variation of their top favorite movies. And joining us now to kind of talk about it, Derek Zimrak, he's the owner and operator the Arenda Theater, and uh, first and foremost, a nice festive gear here. Yeah. I know, we love it. We, like we immediately what, what admired wear. the jacket you know, when you walked in. It, it looks great. great. Well, tell us, what is it about Christmas movies that just kind of draw us in every year? Well, I think a lot of people go to the movies on Christmas, and they want to really have a, a really Christmas experience at the movie theater, which is from the East Coast that was never done. So, I mean, I was a little surprised when I first got over here that that happened. But I think it's that there's different reasons that people like movies like you had mentioned. Some is just nostalgia or maybe some traditions that you did. And right. With family. Yeah, and mine would be, I have several reasons why, but I say one of them is truly because of a tradition that we always did, is I always took my son to see Polar Express on the IMAX oh, screen yeah. oh, every wow. single year. Such a and good And that's movie. what yeah. was, yeah. And that's what creates a memory of why I like that movie. Not the best Christmas movie. Obviously, didn't make the top five of the list of. Uh, I had completely forgotten about it, but I enjoyed seeing that movie. Yeah. I remember when I was younger. Yeah. Tom Hanks. Yeah. yeah. And Renaissance we, man. And we now do it every year at the Arena Theater for free. And we just did it this Thursday. We had over 450 people. Oh, wow. It was packed. Yeah. yeah. So it was really good. Yeah. Th yeah. That's one of those movies you got to see on the big screen, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I took them to the IMAX, not just. The big screen at the Renda Theater. <laughs> can, can, we, can we talk about It's a Wonderful Life? Because that's number one. Um, and when it came out in 1946 with Jimmy Stewart and Donna, right. Donna Reed, it was not that popular. Uh, it was panned. It they, was they, panned. They did not like the movie, and it became It's a, a cult yeah. classic now. Yeah. It plays all the time. <laughs> Why, what is it about it? What's the staying power? The I message, think, I guess? I think it's the message, and, you know, the family, and that's really, you know, what Christmas is all about. And I think that's what, an important part of it. But I think there's another movie that Jimmy Stewart did in 1940 called The Shop Around the Corner, uh, which is also a Christmas movie oh. that actually has a higher rating on most panels, you know, including uh, Rotten Tomatoes. It's a 99%. So if you get a chance, you want to see a different holiday movie, I'll take a look at that movie. I a yeah, Shop you know, speaking, Around the Corner. Speaking of Rotten Tomatoes, because when I was working with our producer Sylvia on this, we went to Rotten Tomatoes first to see what were the top uh, holiday, top rated holiday movies. And there was a bunch of movies there I didn't even realize or remember right. were holiday movies. Uh, and, and there were some that I hadn't even heard of before. So what are some of the maybe forgotten classics that you could kind of reintroduce? I mean, we know all the standards. Everyone likes Elf, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Right. But uh, along with that, Jimmy yeah. Stewart, I mean, you're talking about. The same one is, is also, you know, uh, Christmas Story. Everybody knows yes, that one, and yes. that's always, always on. Right. National yeah. Lampoon's <laughs> too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think there's, you know, a lot of people throw Die Hard in there as a Christmas yes. movie. It's because <laughs> of the, they, they play the music at the end. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Th it also, like, takes place at During a, a Christmas, Christmas party. party. Right, right, right. So that's part of it. Yeah. 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 But, but I mean, there's a big debate online about whether it's yeah, a Christmas movie I, or not. Yeah, I wouldn't classify it as a Christmas <laughs> movie, but, you know, you never, you never know. But, I mean, I think... Every year there's stuff that comes out that, that is, and I think The Holdovers, which is currently in theaters right now, mm -hmm. will be on that list because it's an amazing film. Paul Giamatti will be nominated for an Oscar for his oh, role wow. in it, and it takes place in the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And isn't of, the premise of it uh, a college kid who is stuck yeah. in, on the campus it's, over the holidays yeah. when everyone else goes home? Yeah, and this curmudgeon you know, professor, which is played by Paul Giamatti, has to take care of him, and there's also... It's just a human interest story it's a what christmas is is like if you don't have a family what do you do you know and how that spirit of christmas goes to everybody I'm, so a classic for sure i'm curious what your favorite animated film is for christmas for christmas, christmas? Yeah. yeah are you a rudolph guy you like the grinch <laughs> I, I say it's 
Charlie Brown. Charlie Christmas. Brown. Christmas. Brown. Yeah, I mean, doesn't play in the theaters. It never did play in the theaters. It always played on television. I can so. still see well, Linus you know, getting up. <laughs> I know the uh, I know the essence of uh, Christmas. <laughs> A babe wrapped in swaddling <laughs> clothes. Yeah. Light, please. <laughs> it could make a comeback in theaters because I don't know if you're aware of this, but apparently uh, Snoopy is hugely popular um, among, like, online and on TikTok right. and everything. And I think the the um, museum, the Peanuts Museum in Santa Rosa, had its like highest ad admissions really? in years. So, wow. so maybe we could see that come back. My personal yeah. favorite, animated wise, I like all the incarnations of the Grinch, and there's been three of them. You you know, there's the original 1966, right. uh, which not my favorite, but then Jim Carrey did that live action version uh, 20 years ago, which I enjoyed immensely at the time. But then I tried to show it to my <laughs> seven-year-old, and she's like, this is really weird. Yeah. <laughs> I must stop Christmas So from she likes this version that we are showing right now, right. which I also really appreciate and enjoy. This is a really, really kid-friendly version. It's it's the Grinch story kind of told from the perspective of the child, Cindy Lou Who. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I think that's what it is, is that it's at your point in time and what yeah. you remember, you know, because sometimes movies that are classics or older as they go, they don't hold up, you know, to different generations, but there are a few that do. Well, Derek, a wonderful life. Well, Happy Rosemary, holidays. wait, really quick, oh, yes. though. Rosemary, what's your favorite? Oh, uh, God, I, I think I'd love them all, and I'm looking at all these panels <laughs> behind you guys, and I'm thinking, wow, I do. I mean, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer since I was a yeah. little, little kid, Hello. but probably the one I have to see every single year, and maybe because we have the DVD, I don't even know right. what it is, but <laughs> Christmas Vacation, National uh, Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, it's just so Funny. That's my husband's favorite too. Is it? You, yeah. you know, it, it will put. You, if you're not in a good mood, it will put you in a good mood because it is just you just laugh and laugh at all. Chevy the Chase is in his 80s now. If you can oh believe that. Goodness. Oh my yeah. god! Great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Love that movie. All right. How about some good weather for us, too? And by the way, Derek, thanks for coming. Thank you. Merry yes. Christmas to you. Love Christmas your everybody. festive jacket. <laughs> you. All right.